I was being a good boyfriend but I guess she wanted a bad boy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. This happened years ago when I was around 18 and dating a girl I had gone to high school with. We had been together for about a year and towards the last month of our relationship things started to die out, we wouldn't talk as much and she never had time for me. She claimed she was always working at her family's grocery store. Her family had their own business for years. It was a small grocery store that at one point while I was in between jobs I even worked at for a short time. Her family were lovely and me and her father got along great and still chat every now and then because I was always working or studying, didn't party and had set goals for myself early in life which her father thought was awesome. So anyway, back to our relationship. Because we both work we only had the weekends free so usually we would do our best to spend time with each other, but she had grown distant and I hadn't thought anything of it. But one weekend I received a call from a friend of mine who told me she had seen my girlfriend out with another guy. I didn't want to believe it, I was devastated. But I thought before I throw any accusations I would get my own proof first. It took me almost three weeks to convince her to spend time with me. When she agreed and came over for a night after work, I had planned on confronting her to find out for myself. She arrived shortly after dark and told me she was going to have a shower. She went into the bathroom but had left her phone with her bag and keys on the table. So I did what anyone who has been told they were being cheated on would do, I went through to see for myself. And what do you know, she was cheating on me with her ex-boyfriend who was a dirtbag. You see he was one of the kids at school that messed around, never came to school. Was out smoking and drinking instead. I never really interacted with him outside of being asked for a lighter for a cigarette. But he was also selling drugs at school. I've always thought people who sell drugs to kids are dirtbags. Not cool at all bro. I found out she had been going to see him on the weekends to do drugs and drink as well as sleeping with him. There were messages talking about how I was too nice or focused on work too much. How she's only with me because her family loves me and I can handle that if you tell me that, not cheat on me because of it I would rather leave a relationship freely. This hit me really hard and messed with my perception of women afterwards. I had never been cheated on before and didn't know how to handle the feeling. But I wasn't going to let her do that to me like that. Here comes the sweet revenge. You see in those messages they had been talking about needing money for alcohol or drugs and not having enough, this conversation led to him convincing her to steal it from her family business. She had been getting away with almost $800 or so every weekend as well as stealing items from their shop. So I thought fast, screenshot all the messages, and sent them to her father from her phone. I told him it was me, and that this is what I had found in his daughter's phone. Shortly after she had finished up in the shower. I told her we were finished and I knew everything. I told her to leave and I had a surprise for her when she got home, which she was confused about. She left after that and I received a call from her dad who has apologized to me for his daughter's actions and sounded almost as devastated as I was. He told me he had already called the police and they were waiting for her to get back home as well as collecting her ex-boyfriend as an accomplice. I was shocked but thankful that I had cut dead weight from my life in a just fashion considering she cheated on me. She got to spend the night in a cell with her ex and was ordered to pay back the amount by a judge and given community service. He on the other had happened to have previous warrants out and I don't know what happened to him after. I wiped my hands clean of her and moved forward. But man, that felt so much better that she at least got some punishment as a result. Here are some of the best comments from our community. This is how people end up with no family, an abusive druggy relationship, and a horrible life. Stupid stupid girl. She was completely deceiving him and stealing thousands of dollars for her and her criminal boyfriend to do drugs and get alcohol. She chose him over her family's well-being. That's utter betrayal and the only way to set that straight is to let them have it otherwise they know they will get away with it. She didn't just take money from the business for a purse or something, she was literally actively stealing money for her loser boyfriend for drugs and alcohol. Here is the second story. GF went no contact and suddenly had a new darling so I. I was on vacation last winter and met a girl at the beach. We hit it off, she was very attractive, eight tenths at least. She lived by the coast and I lived in central NC, about a three hour drive away. We began meeting up regularly, going on trips, that I always paid for, we even went to NYC and when I brought up her paying her share of the hotel costs, she said she would pay me back on the next trip. On that particular trip she brought a friend of hers and that friend's fiancé, and they all seemed pretty distant with me, like none of them gave a fuck and they were just three friends there having fun while I paid half the bill. 
I know, I know, I was a dumbass. I thought we had a pretty good relationship going. After about six months though she starts flaking out when I want to hang out. Not returning texts for hours, one word answers when she does return them. After a while I decided she just didn't want to see me anymore and we stopped talking. She started posting pics of her and another guy on Facebook, referring to him as darling. Oh well, I thought, just another girl hell bent on wasting my time and money. A few months later she contacted me though, apologizing for how she treated me and how bad she feels about what happened to our relationship. She wanted to meet up again and go on another trip with her friends, this time to Atlanta, she wanted to see a Braves game, go to the aquarium, etc. Anyway, I told her that I forgave her and I would love to go with her and her friends. I had other plans in mind. She asked about the tickets to the Brave game and I told her that if she wanted to go she could just order the tickets online and I could pay her for my ticket later, she said that was fine. We agreed to meet up in Charlotte and they could just park their car there and ride with me to Atlanta, they never offered to help me with gas money. Long story short, the last snap message I got from her before I blocked her number and blocked her on all social media was a pic of the Charlotte skyline that read almost there. I read the message from home while drinking a wine cooler and watching a movie. The thought of her and her friends driving aimlessly around uptown Charlotte looking for me still brings a smile to my face to this day. Here are some of the best comments from our community. Simple, I like it. I find it confusing why people are saying she was never your girlfriend, that's got nothing to do with it. If she was playing you and treated you like crap she deserves it. That's hilarious and well done. I don't get why people are giving you shit about wine coolers though. It's not a big deal. Here is the third story. My friend was being cheated on, so I made his girlfriend fat. 2006 or so, my two friends Dave and John are roommates. Names changed, John was seeing this really attractive girl, and she would hang out at his place quite often. On weekends, John's girlfriend would want to sleep with another guy, her ex-boyfriend, and so she would break up with him on Friday, and get back together with John on Monday. To top it off, she would refuse to sleep with John. Now John was inexperienced at romance, so he meekly went along with it. Dave however, absolutely hated seeing his friend get hurt week in and week out, so Dave devised a plan. Dave was a fantastic baker. Pies, cakes, brownies, cookies, lemon bars, etc. He could seriously make great money selling his goods, but lacks the motivation. Once motivated, Dave is a force to be reckoned with. So Dave decides that it is time to bake again. He makes cookies, pies, cakes, lemon bars, etc., but this time in two batches, one regular and one with four times the butter required. The brownies have fudge frosting, all homemade. The lemon bars have extra lemon zest in them, beside the lemon filling. The cakes were tiered with buttercream frosting. Now all of his guy friends ate from the normal dishes, while John's girl always brought pieces from the special batch. Within three months the cheating girlfriend put on 40 pounds, could no longer fit into 60% of her clothes, and started living in her sweats. To top it off, John told her that he wasn't into big girls, and dropped her cheating ass. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.